Hello everyone. As we delve further into the realm of media influence, we uncover a pivotal turning point during the aftermath of World War I. The worst correlation between presumed causes and effects ignited a surge in the belief in the immense power of the media, an influential tool that would wield both positive and negative outcomes on an unprecedented scale. This realization spurred not only the interest of scholars, but also the attention of governments eager to comprehend the mechanics of mass communications persuasion. At the forefront of discussions was the concept of persuasion through mass communication, a topic that captured attention both as a potential solution and as a looming danger. Economists saw the potential of media to navigate the financial crisis of the 1920s and 30s, while sociologists explored how media could be harnessed to either strengthen or weaken societal role patterns. Examples abounded from studying women's emancipation to examining the broader question of how to navigate the media's influence for collective benefit. Central to these explorations was the premise that media yielded substantial effects on human behavior extending to commercial realms. The advertising industry experienced a meteoric rise fueling the growth of market research agencies. These agencies strategically delved into media preferences providing vital insights to media organizations aiming to sell ads at better prices. In parallel, the commercial market researchers established standardized techniques for audience research, employing large-scale surveys and statistical analysis to capture audience behaviors and preferences. This burgeoning industry became synonymous with high-quality research standards. Universities across the globe embarked on studying media's potential for profound effects on audience behavior. At the core of this, inquiry lay the hypodermic needle theory, also known as the magic bullet theory, a metaphor that evoked the notion of injecting messages directly into passive audiences. This theory said that media messages held a direct, immediate and powerful impact on individuals with audiences perceived as relatively powerless to resist or counteract these influences. Underpinning this perspective were key characteristics, short-term effects, immediacy, a focus on change rather than reinforcement, and uniform impact across the entire audience. Scholars sought systematic evidence to validate this theory, and one of the most renowned examples emerged in the form of Martian invasion of 1938. During a radio broadcast depicting a fictional Martian attack on Earth, widespread panic reportedly ensued. Thousands were said to have taken to the streets in fear, underscoring the idea of uniform, immediate and short-term effects among the masses. As we reflect on these theories and historical examples, it's evident that the hypodermic needle and magic bullet theories held significant sway in shaping our understanding of media influence. While subsequent research has unveiled more nuanced perspectives, these theories laid the foundation for exploring how media messages interact with human perceptions and behaviors, ultimately influencing societal responses to information.